all about the performance. It's called the Trackhawk. It has 700 plus horsepower, from zero to 60 in three and a half seconds. But the, the reality is that this Jeep in auto mode for daily driving, it can be driven 365 days a year. It's comfortable, it's quiet, it's a refined driving experience. That's what made it the most awarded to begin with. And we haven't lost any bit of that. So the drivability, the usability, the utility of it makes it probably the most practical 700 horsepower vehicle that will ever be produced. Our target right from the onset was to create the quickest, most powerful SUV that has ever been built. Um, we, uh, we knew we had the technology, we knew we had the powertrain background, and we've, got, we've certainly got the expertise in the SRT building to be able to take and harness the energy from the, from the supercharged Hemi and put it to the ground. Wheel spin and burnouts look good on video, but when you want to be fast and you want to be the quickest SUV, you want to be able to put that power down and not spin tires. We're not going to compromise any of the on-road driving dynamics, the refinement, the quietness of the cabin itself, the soft touch materials, the premium nature of that driving experience. It's really refined, but then you couple it with just absolutely mind-blowing uh, performance. It's just uh, it's an unbelievable combination. It's almost a Jekyll and Hyde. It can fit any season, any condition, drive it 365 days a year. It doesn't need to be 80 and sunny to take your Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. It can be rainy and 30 or snowing and you can drive it. But if you have an opportunity to, to go to the track for the weekend on a track day, and take it to the drag strip, you have the perfect track weapon. This vehicle is gonna be bought by a wide range of people and we know that. The control modes that we offer through our select track system set the car up in an automatic mode that maximizes the safety, potential, and power of the vehicle for all everyday drivers. As you start to gain confidence and you start to gain experience, you can step your way up to the full performance of the vehicle through sport mode and track mode. We've even got custom modes that allow people to tailor the vehicle exactly to the way they like to drive it. Jeep has a history of bringing some high performance SUVs to the marketplace. It started in 98 with the 5.9 Limited that was capable of 0 to 60 in 6.8 seconds. Then in 2006 model year, the first SRT debuted, and now we're bringing the ultimate performance SUV to market with the Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. We've got an incredible following as, as, a, as a Jeep brand. Our customers are loyal, and they let us know on a regular basis what they want. People that have been driving the SRT Grand Cherokee reached out to us and said, hey look, we really want to take this vehicle to the next level. They've, they've indicated their interest and we've delivered it. So what have we got here? A straight six-cylinder petrol engine with a not-too-shabby 360 horsepower and naught to 60 miles per hour in 4.8 seconds, plus a weight distribution of 50-50. Hey, Nikki, can you hear us? Hey, guys. How's it going? Yeah, I am loving this. I mean, the car literally sticks to the road and you can really feel the ground underneath you as well. And that's thanks to the hard M suspension. But don't worry, guys, there is comfort mode for you. Nice and soft, just as you like it. Uh -huh. Thanks, Nikki. Uh -huh. That's cute. She's thinking of us. Hey, Nikki, are you using the steering and lane control assistant? No, what's that? Well, it just supports the driver in monotonous traffic situations. And it speeds all the way up to 210 kilometers per hour. That's perfect for you, Nikki. How does it work? Check this out. This is the car. Well, obvi. The important thing is, the car uses both a multiple area surveillance radar system as well as a stereo camera. So on the road, it uses the road markings to orient and position itself and automatically keeps the desired distance from the vehicle ahead. It's almost like having your own co-pilot, right? Kind of. Okay, so what do I have to do? Just press the button and you'll see the green icon. Ah. How's it going, Nikki? Who would have thought that boring could actually be so exciting? Hey, Nikki. Nikki? Nikki? Lamborghini must have the most extreme proportions and the Urus will have 
it will have a proportion that is absolutely outstanding and uh, you have never seen on the road before. My philosophy is always expect the unexpected and first of all the Urus is a Lamborghini because it looks also unexpectedly uh, beautiful. The car is outstanding in terms of architecture proportion. We took a lot of inspiration for me on two models. Uh, one is the Countach and one is the LM002. On the Countach we took everything that is important for the design DNA of Lamborghini. The low profile, the strong angle of the side windows, then also for me important when you look at the front of the car there are these diagonal lines that you can also find uh, on the front hood of the Urus. When you see the car on the rear, the Countach is also having these diagonal lines and we have repeated them also on the Urus when you see the car from the rear view. Another really strong influence was the LM002. This was our first uh, super SUV, the, you know, the world's first super SUV uh, was born in the 80s and uh, this car was also a big influence for us. I want to name the wheel arches, I want to name the, the, the front hood with the strong power dome. These were all elements that we were influenced, but we have designed them in an unexpected way, very dynamic in the new car. A small detail, there's a small triangular air outlet on the LM002 and that was our inspiration for the little uh, triangular air outlet uh, on the Urus that is also proudly wearing the Italian flag showing I'm born, I'm designed in Sant'Agata Bolognese. That is the bigger brother to the first Model X. It's the 100D. It's more powerful than the 75D, but will it be quick enough to beat the I-Pace? Let's find out. Let's do this! that is also proudly wearing the Italian flag, showing I'm born, I'm designed in Sant'Agata Bolognese. That is the bigger brother to the first Model X. It's the 100D. It's more powerful than the 75D, but will it be quick enough to beat the I-Pace? Let's find out. So two out of two, Jaguar have won it by similar distance again. You're pretty smug and rightly so. How did it feel? Yeah, it was great. The response was instant and also pulled up really well. That is also proudly wearing the Italian flag, showing I'm born, I'm designed in Sant'Agata Bolognese. That is the bigger brother to the first Model X. It's the 100D. It's more powerful than the 75D, but will it be quick enough to beat the I-Pace? Let's find out. Let's do this! It's a car that combines everything, that combines the luxury, that combines the performance, that combines uh, a new generation of cars for, for Bentley. It defines the future for Bentley. With this car we make big, big steps on the engine side, on the chassis side, on the electronic side, and that will be the masterpiece of all our next cars. We have achieved everything we set out to achieve, maybe a little bit more. It'll be the fastest, most exclusive, most luxurious SUV in the world. Special Vehicle Operations. Jaguar's bespoke engineering division. Creating high specification vehicles 
that deliver unsurpassed luxury, cutting edge technology, and stunning performance. This is the F-Pace SVR. Nord to 100 kilometers per hour in 4.3 seconds. Top speed of 283 kilometers per hour. 618 meters of torque. 550 PS from the 5 liter supercharged V8 engine. A performance SUV has never been this exciting. The SVR specific chassis includes an uprated spring damper module, front bushes, and upgraded shock absorbers to deliver dynamically enhanced ride, handling, and control. With all-wheel drive optimized for handling and intelligent driveline dynamics, the F-Pace SVR delivers controlled handling in all conditions. It handles with predictability and consistency, connecting you to the road. Every software calibration is unique to F-Pace SVR. From electronic power-assisted steering for driver feedback to torque vectoring by braking for optimum control. Engaging dynamic mode provides greater body control and more immediate vehicle response. With the variable valve active exhaust system enhancing performance capability and delivering SVR's signature soundtrack. harness this power, the vehicle has an upgraded braking system, 395 mm two-piece discs at the front and rear, with an opposed four-piston aluminium monoblock caliper at the front, provide exceptional braking performance and inspire confidence. The F-Pace SVR. Be involved in the performance.